The entire Hoosier state is reacting after some controversial findings involving former superintendent of schools, Tony Bennett. He's accused of using his position to change an Indianapolis charter school's grade, giving them an A after they actually earned a C. Beginning tonight's Education Watch 10 coverage, News 10's Michael Klaus shares more from local educators on what they think. The system we have in place right now is so convoluted, uh, it takes a rocket scientist, to be perfectly honest with you, to get through it. Even with his years of experience as South Vermilion School Superintendent, that's Dave Chapman's response to Indiana's current A through F grading system. It's that system that has currently come under scrutiny after former head of schools Tony Bennett allegedly changed one school's grade from a C to an A. It's disheartening for those of us who have put so much time and effort into our profession to have that kind of uh, black eye cast on public education. You know, we're already taking a beating as it is in many areas, and we're doing everything we can to improve our image and to have something like that from our state leader. I, that's very disheartening from, from where we stand. The A through F scale is part of teachers' evaluation, and more importantly, compensation. It looks at student achievement, graduation rates, and career readiness. While not a fan of the current system, Chapman agrees that these subjects matter significantly. They need to be uh, held accountable, just like our teachers and uh, the administrators and the boards of education. But at the same time, we need to treat them as individuals and not as a number. Add in the current I-STEP debacle, and with numbers still not in, evaluations for teachers will be hard to come by. But for some educators, it's all in how you look at it. It's going to be a, a bit of a obstacle for us, but we're looking at that obstacle as a challenge because we've got great teachers here. Uh, we, we're going to really push forward and, and take this as a challenge and move forward and do great things here at South Vermillion. In Clinton, Michael Klaus, News 10. Current school superintendent Glenda Ritz ordered an internal review of the grading system. That review will take place in the upcoming weeks.